Hello Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Hello Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Hello Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Hello Brownsburg High School. Hello Brownsburg High School. This is Epsa Baldwaja, BHS TV. Ben Walsh, BHS TV. Summer Keister, BHS TV. Luke Douglas, BHS TV. Arabella Brown, BHS TV. BHS TV. BHS TV. BHS TV. BHS TV. BHS TV. Excuse me. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV and a nice job to the Sound of Brownsburg Marching Band and Guard on a great performance at their Invitational on Saturday night. Today is Monday, September 13th. I'm Annabelle Freeman. And I'm Dakota Gillette. And here's what's going on at BHS. This week is homecoming at BHS, so here's a look at our Spears Dress Days. Today is Beach vs. Safari, and tomorrow, Tuesday, is Superheroes vs. Villains. Wednesday is Pastel vs. Future Self. Thursday is Olympics, and Friday is our Purple Out. BHS TV wants you to post your school spirit pics to social media and tag us, or use the hashtag BBergHC21. We will choose some of our favorites to show right here on BHS TV and on the TVs around the school. We also want to see which fifth period class has the most spirit. So have your fifth period teacher send Mr. Good pictures this week and your class might be chosen to be featured on BHS TV News. Congratulations to the following students who were selected as nominees for the homecoming court. From Team 2025, Donovan Chavez, Katie Hartley, and Jackson Luce. From Team 2024, Lexi Gordon, Caden Steckel, and Ella Chambers. From Team 2023, Kendra Young, Jaden Whitaker, and Abriella Ellis. Your keen candidates are Jeremiah Clayton, Hayden Deemer McKinney, Darius Gaddy, Keenan LeBlanc, and Sean Tupola. And your queen candidates are Anaya Cobb, Mary Hennessy, Holland Miller, Cora White, and Paige Wysong. Voting for Homecoming Royals, King and Queen will take place at all lunches this Thursday. Homecoming dance tickets are on sale this week in the DECA store for $15. The dance is for BHS and Harris Academy students only. The dance will be at CF Roark Stadium. Due to being on the football field, heels will not be permitted on the field, but masks will be optional. Part of judging for this year's homecoming parade is to see which team can collect the most items for their chosen animal shelter. You can bring in donations of dry or canned cat and dog food or litter to your team office or class sponsors. Let's show some love for our furry friends in our community through some friendly competition. The Spanish Globe will be meeting this Thursday after school in Senior Sloan's room B1409. They will start this room and then combine with LOT to work on the culture fair. See Senior Sloan for more information. Be sure to check out the paw print online at www.bhsnews.net. The newspaper staff will be releasing web articles each Friday of the school year, starting with their first two today. This year's culture fair will take place on Friday, October 8th, during the school day. If you're not part of LOT but want to create a booth and feature a culture during the fair, you should attend the Leaders of Tomorrow meeting this Thursday. September 16th from 3 to 3.45 in the LGI room, or see Mrs. L in room B2418. History Club and Environmental Club are hosting the weekly homeless plastic bag map project in the main building science lab starting this Thursday, September 16th from 3 to 4 p.m. Anyone is welcome to participate. See Ms. Crone or Mrs. Moeller with any questions. Are you interested in learning more about issues related to the LGBTQ community, sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression, and making school a safe place for all students? Then the Equality Alliance is for you. The Quality Alliance meets on Tuesday is in Ms. Moreland Ford's room, A2404, after school until 4 p.m. September is Suicide Awareness Month and Bulldogs for Life will be making posters. This event will take place after school today in Mrs. Navio's room, B2420. If you want to help make and hake posters, all are welcome. The Leaders of Tomorrow Club has an upcoming event next month, so we asked BHS TV's Kylie Redledge to find out more information about it. The Leaders of Tomorrow Club, widely known as LOT, started at Brownsburg High School three years ago and has had an incredible impact ever since. LOT is a black student union and it is for um, black students to come together and for us to empower students of color and all of that. Although it is a black student union, um, one of the things that we push for is just diversity like amongst like many cultures. Club meetings are really fun and we also get to work. I like the club meetings because it's a safe place and and there's a lot of people that you can meet there. Um, sometimes we're planning events right now. We're kind of pouring everything into the culture fair. Other times we're having deep discussions about things going on in the world that affect our kids. In the actual meetings, you'll see me, you know, up at the front, like making the announcements. But then later on, I'm like interacting with the other students within LOT. The whole point of the culture fair is being able to share knowledge um, about other cultures and about other countries. 
our goal for the cultural fair is to really increase um, appreciation of diverse cultures. And we want to just bring about a spirit of inclusivity and appreciation of cultures. So we moved the culture fair up because around like that week that we're gonna do it during like that fall break area would just be easier on the students who are participating within the culture fair. I like the culture fair because it gives an opportunity for people to learn about different cultures and countries. It's never too late to join LOT if you're interested and you're welcome anytime. We're excited to see all the fun things LOT has in store for us. Kylie Rutledge, BHS TV. I'm really looking forward to the cultural fair this year. Me too. I was actually part of the culture fair last year, so it'll be interesting to see what the culture fair is like this year. Now it's time for sports. Hey Kylie, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, another weekend of BHF athletics is in the books for our fall athletes. Let's get things started with the football team who took on Avon on Friday night in Battle of the B.O. Bell. After surrendering an early lead to the Orioles, it was all dogs the rest of the game on their way to a 38-17 victory. The rushing game led the way for the dogs. Garrett Shiro had 167 yards in the game and Caleb Marcus had 62 yards and three touchdowns. Jaden Whitaker added 49 yards on the ground and a touchdown. And RJ Miles ran 41 yards passing. Whitaker threw for 79 yards and connected with Corey Smith for a touchdown. The defense also had a nice evening with several sacks and pressures, as well as forcing a turnover. The guys will be back at home on Friday against Fishers. The cross-country teams are in action again this weekend as well. The JV team finished first at the Ben Davis Invitational. The dogs took the top three spots in the entire meet with Renee Walmuth finishing first, Daphne Garner second, and Kaylin Trout third. Sophie Santeri was fifth overall and Maggie Goffin was seventh overall. Congrats. The ladies will have this weekend off as they prepare for the HCC conference meet the following week. Also, congrats to the boys team who finished 7th in Mason, Ohio Invitational on Saturday. The girls golf team was at Franklin Central Invitational on Saturday and finished 5th place out of 20 teams. Maddie Campbell led the dogs finishing with 87. Katie Spolgerick, Haley Hansen, and Ellie Steen rounded the scoring for the dogs. The ladies will resume the HCC championship that was postponed due to weather tonight. Good luck. The girls' soccer team had a 3-2 win over Chesterton over the weekend, and the boys' tennis team went 1-1 one one over Zinesville Invitational. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Kylie. That's all I got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.